Lucy. I am home and back in my kitchen and today I have a doll to share with you that I got at Walt Disney World and this is one of the Attractionista dolls, Gracie. Um, this is a new line of dolls for Disney and I really really am loving a Gracie. She is my favorite. Uh, they have four out so far. Now uh, you can get these in the park and I know that you can also get them online at DisneyStore.com. Uh, I do not know if you can get them in Disney stores because I do not have one near me. So if you have one near you, just check and see if they're available there because I do not know. Uh, but anyway, this is Gracie and uh, she is themed after the Haunted Mansion attraction. Each of these dolls are themed after a particular pra uh, attraction in the park. Uh, so far, like I said, there are four of them. There is Celeste and she is themed after Space Mountain. And then there's Maddie and she is um, themed after the Mad Tea Party, uh, little cups that spin around in a circle. And also those Pearl and uh, she's themed after the Pirates of, of the Caribbean. Okay, so the story behind these dolls is all of these friends were having the best time at Disney and they were settled in for the evening to watch the fireworks show and there was a bright light in the sky, a bright star, and they all made the same wish. They all wished that they would be friends forever and that they and they also all wished that they would become a part of their favorite attraction of their ride and that that attraction would become a part of them. So voila, your, <laughs> your attraction needs to dolls. So let's just go ahead and get Gracie out of her box. And I'm gonna let you see her up close in her box before I take her out. Um, and um, this box got a little, a little dent right there on my trip home because it was in a very full pack suitcase I could not carry it on because all of my carry-on was also full uh, so that is why I only got one doll but um, I am considering getting the rest of them especially Celeste um, loved Gracie and Celeste so anyway let's just go ahead and get this review started on a Gracie from uh, the new Disney line Attractionistas Okay, y'all, so this is Gracie, uh, the attraction Nista doll from Disney. Uh, and I just think she is absolutely amazing. Now, like I said before, she is themed after uh, the Haunted Mansion attraction. And as you can see, there's Gracie herself. And then she has a hat and also a little bat. And that little bat's name is Grim. Um, and this is what the side of the box looks like. And then the back with that wonderful artwork there of Gracie. Um, now I'll tell you a little bit about Gracie. I'm just reading what it says here on the box. Gracie loves the night and the things that go bump therein. She enjoys being different. But Gracie is always there when her pals need a kind, reassuring voice in scary situations. She is also a killer interior designer. Along with her trusty bat grim, she can decorate a room that's to die for. At the Haunted Mansion attraction, the ghost, host, and the singing bust are just like old pals that she feels like she's known for an eternity. So anyway, that is a little bit about a Gracie. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, get her out of the box so that we can see Gracie oh so much better. Okay y'all, so this is Gracie out of her box and she is absolutely fabulous. I am really, really glad that I got her. Uh, now the Gracie does not come with a stand. This stand that she is on, I did uh, get this stand at Hobby Lobby and you could probably get them at other craft stores as well, uh, but she does not come with her own stand. Um, but she is a 12 inch doll and um, I just wanted to let you know how tall she was compared to maybe some of your other dolls. Um, and she also comes with this little bat. Now his name is Grim. Now Grim also has on his little molded top hat just like uh, Gracie does. And see, he's got a lot of detail in him and he it really is a cute bat. <laughs> as far as bats go, He's cute. Um, so anyway, let me take Gracie off of her stand so that you can see her a little better. Um, let's see if we can get her off now. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just start with the top of a Gracie's uh, head here. Now Gracie is wearing a hat, but this hat is removable. 
uh, and it's on here just a little strap but I did want you to see it on her head before I took it off uh, but it's just a little molded hat uh, it has a little purple band there around it with some black on it uh, it's really really pretty and then has this mesh this mesh on the back of it this veil here um, so it just adds a little detail there on the back and um, I'm gonna go ahead and slip it off Gracie's hair so we can see what her hair looks like and it comes off very easily now uh, Gracie's hair is a bright bright purple with that just that little black streak right there uh, but her hair is a very very stiff it has tons of gel in it it is a very hard uh, it's gonna stay like this unless you wash it out but I am going to leave Gracie's hair just like that because uh, I want it to stay in this style um, and then Gracie's face I mean she's got a pretty face you know she has that complexion that kind of looks kind of ghostly because after all she is a theme from the Haunted Mansion attraction. Um, but then her eyes, her eyes are just really pretty. See how they're kind of um, have that yellowy look like a, if you were to see a ghost or something, they would have that yellow look to their eyes. But uh, she does have that yellow look to her eyes, but it's also pretty. And I really just think she has a really cute uh, face. And here, I'll turn it sideways so you can see her profile just a little better. Uh, very cute face. And I do like her coloring, like her eyeshadow and her lipstick, and just that little hint of a rouge on her cheeks. Uh, so pretty. Now she does have a rooted hair. Her hair is rooted in there. So that is a really awesome. Now her costume um, has a lot of a velour to it. This little jacket part here is all a uh, dark blue velour feeling um, material. And it also is in the little pedalum part of the little jacket here all the way around of the back as well. And uh, that velour material is also at the bottom of this little costume. And it goes all the way around. And it is really very pretty. And then she has that, um, it's kind of like a, a satin fabric here. Um, on this part of her little dress right here it's like a little satin and it's trimmed um, in a black lace and it is very pretty as a lot of detail um, you know to this little outfit and it's kind of themed after the you know how the dance is uh, the ghosts are dancing in the ballroom of the haunted mansion and then she has all of these little uh, detailed um, metallic accents in her outfit right here on her uh, little jacket and also here on her her belt that's kind of holding um, her waist piece here her belt with the little metallic buckles right there and it's very very pretty as a lot of detail I think that's really so cute now she has um, these little purple with a black pattern um, lace look to them on her little um, leggings here and they do go all the way up almost like a pant um, on her so as you can see goes all the way up and then these little brown boots that she is wearing uh, and they're just very simple little shoes um, they are split at the back so that you can take them off if you would like and then has that silver little buckle across the top now uh, her legs do have some posability to them see they can bend at the knee uh, and she can also sit down so you can uh, sit her down like so if you if you would want to and you can also bend her knees and she does uh, not turn at the waist at all uh, and you can turn her head and also uh, her arms can bend or move at the shoulders but they do not have a, a bend here in the elbow or at the wrist so you are limited on um, the movability of um, this doll but for me she will be on her stand so I think she is great I just love the way she looks okay y'all so this is the attraction Nisa doll Gracie and I am really so glad that I got her and here she of course has her little bat grim with her um, definitely going to be getting a Celeste because I am just loving these dolls I think they're just um, very different and unique and they're themed after Disney attractions which I absolutely love okay y'all I hope that 
you enjoyed this review on Disney's attraction niece at all, a Gracie. I think she is fabulous. I'm loving her coloring, her purple hair, uh, all of the way her costume is designed and everything. I think she is just fabulous. So glad to add her to my collection. I uh, will definitely be ordering Celeste. Uh, if I could have, I would have bought her as well, but I had no more room in my suitcase. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope this helps you guys decide on whether you would like to get Gracie and add her to your collection or not. But I think she is so cute and so fabulous. So excited that um, they are themed after uh, Disney attractions because I absolutely love Disney. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.